What's up, good people? This Isaiah. And as we look at the tape, you gotta say it with me. As we look at the tape, hey, you see it? Mm hmm. Oboro. He's, he's come home. He, he actually came home, like, <laughs> as soon as he got released, actually. Um, I just haven't done much with him. He's just sitting here pretty. You know what I mean? Um, most I did was get him to level 80. And then I just stopped. You know? Um, so. Anyway. So I haven't, I don't know what his quest is like. Or anything. Or his abilities. I did unlock pretty much everything here. So I have all the skills in his board. Okay. Um, Ito Ryu. Hmm. And yeah, I haven't done anything with him. One thing I do, do have a question about. I have to check Aldo's personality. And the reason why I say that is because if we look at this skill here. Okay. Um, not, no, not this. Um, this ability, actually. So this ability says, um, effect activates with two plus Fugen Ituryu allies in the front line. Does that also include Aldo? You know what I mean? And the reason why I asked, for those that don't know, is there is a weapon you can get for your homeboy Aldo over here. Where is it here? Um, give me a second. That Aldo gets from training with them. You know what I mean? Trains with uh, Shion, Akane. You know what I mean? So it makes you wonder. Like, does this also include all, though? You know what I mean? So, just a question. Like, I guess I can easily check. Okay, that's going to take some getting used to. Um, yeah, it's not mentioned here in the personality, but story-wise, I mean, he did get that sword. You know what I'm saying? Well, not he didn't even have to get the sword, to be honest with you, but, you know, he did get the sword. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Or is it just really based on the personalities listed here? Here, you know what I mean? Anyway, probably not, but it would be pretty damn cool if it did. Anyway, so, yeah, as we look at the tape, we got our boy Boro, which means, yes, it's another character. <laughs> another character that we have to get to, you know, level 100. All right? Which is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I don't even know if I can even give him, like, a daybreak. Um, Let's see. Nope, because Cyrus has it. Alright, so. Do got your boy. You know what I mean? Which is all good. Um, what was the name of his skill, by the way? Rising Beat? Wow. Alright, so. One of the things I was wanting to do. Is actually... Um, experiment with the overall damage potential, right? Run the XP dungeon with people like Ouroboros, Ouroboros, J. Say, say, I look, I played Xenoblade Chronicles 3, okay? And Ouroboros was a thing, you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna keep getting this wrong, <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, like I was saying, like, either have him one shot the enemy if he can, um. With, like, say, like, the Daybreak equipment and whatnot. Um, you know, or Cyrus or Tiffy take care of it. You know what I mean? So, anyway. The hunt back. begins. You talking to me? You talking to me? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Time for adventure. Okay. We'll bring him in. And we actually don't need, oh, well, you know, you never know, you know, we might actually need Otaha in the party, believe it or not. Um, who was the other one, Tithi? So these are all the characters here, you know, 
Um, that would need to get to level 100. So, we're going to go ahead and continue with that series here. I already did part one. Um, let's see here. What was the name of his skill? Rising Beast. Any preemptives here? Here, there's one, but it's a medium attack. Okay. I'll be experimenting with him later. Now, I already know, Tithi, every skill is damn near preemptive, as you can see. It's going to be interesting to see, really. Like, okay, can they one-shot the enemy here? All right. And what was this for? Oh, when uh, going against the Stella fight. And then we have Sirius here, Aldo. Right now, Sirius and Aldo, they're in here obviously to provide that bonus. All right. But now, pretty much, we're going to do what we were doing in the last video. Now, before I start, give me a second. All right. Let's get back into it. Hold on. Did you guys know that these characters speak? See if we can get them to play. Hold on a second. Here we go. I'll provide cover. Okay. Interesting. Fully expected the rest of them to say stuff, but they didn't. So. Seven keys here. I got a comment about imagine not having the 10 times multiplier in the XP dungeon. And man, I tell you, if that was the case, I probably wouldn't be making this video right now. Um, because it would just be maddening. Like, imagine going from level zero, playing the character from zero to 100, killing frogs, you know, inside of the battle simulator. Uh, imagine, imagine how long that would take. It would take forever, all right? So, anyway, let's get into it. Ooh, hold on a second. Let's fight till the end. There we go. And just as a reminder, I okay. I haven't used. I'm assuming that was him that did that. Um, hmm. Okay, Tithi's pretty powerful. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hmm. It's interesting that the sidekick here is actually doing damage for Boro here. Can we get him to do something? Nope. Okay. GG. We must hunt as one. Serious, can you just not kill me? Because <laughs> you're not I'm trying to showcase. Bruh, what the hell? That damn sidekick. Did so much damage. 
It looks like, by the way. Oh wait. We got this. Hold on. Okay, that's what I thought. This is coming from um, someone I had recruited, and that's why that's being said. I was wondering what was going on, and now it makes sense. So what the that's interesting because this call skill can actually change based on who you have, you know, recruited and following you in the office, yeah. which is good because um, Great job, you need everyone. a pain setter, you got a free one. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, sure, there are plenty of other poison pain setters here. Like, but think about it here. Let's um, Let's make this a outside the fact that this is an actual attack, it's a poison and pain similar to a Chio, if you will, um, or an Efi, or uh, I'm drawing a blank of who else would set poison and pain. And it ignores target resistance. You know what I mean? So. Hmm. Drunk and blank. All right, anyway. Not bad. In other words, Tithy becomes pretty uh, valuable, you know what I mean? Um, we well, did that on our own. The game be pretty valuable, considering her skill changes like that, so. Brace yourselves. Seriously? Oh. Now, if one of these characters was like a zero MP, and not zero MP attack skill like Noaxus or Noxus. I'm talking like zero NP, like how Tuvo or Valette offer. You know what I mean? That'd have been pretty dope. First turn. And <laughs> I'd like that. You know what I'm saying? Great job, everyone. Okay. I want to see. Okay. Remove the uh sidekick. <laughs> or replace with somebody else. Cause what we went up one level. Mm. By the way, my routes, I pretty much just run in circles. You know what I mean? So I'll start it here. That's funny. Seriously? Yeah, he's back here, my guy. We got this! Hmm. I hit all and consume zero in the Wait, no. First turn battle. I'll oh, take okay. you down. Got, it. got it. Makes sense. Let's go. I'll take you down. Okay, not bad. I'm assuming that skill is much more powerful inside of an AF. Oh yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. 
We got this. Let's go. Let's make this a win. Everyone okay? <laughs> I wonder if in his quest, um, Oboro's quest, he runs into, um, what's his name? Seti? I'm just wondering. I think that'd be pretty cool. I mean, considering what he has floating around, you know. The other thing I worry about with all these altars is like, okay, what happened to, say, all of them? You know what I mean? Like, typically, because so far, I think we only have altar style characters for those who came from the future. I don't think we, well, you know, I might be wrong. Hozuki, maybe? Um, let's see. I'm trying to think, who are the other altar style characters? Anatomy. Um, let's see here. Nayumfa. Um, hmm. Dunareth. Shannon. Ululu. Um, Sukiya. Hismena. Shion. Primea. I'm just naming altars. At least the one I can think of. Tuva. So I was talking about her earlier. Uh, Suzette. Dewey. Izuka. Izuka. Um, so if I think about like where they're all from. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure the bulk of them are from the future. So... And I'm thinking like Uzuka, Dewey, Suzette. Um, Tuva's a bit of an interesting one. You know what I mean? Tuva's definitely a bit of an interesting one. Because um, she came with those from the future, but we know Tuva. <laughs> you know, regular styles Tuva. We know where she's from. So I don't know about that one. But then if you think about the others, Hismena, future. Shannon Future. Um, so it's like, okay, the bulk of them are from the future. You know what I mean? So it's like, makes you wonder, where's the rest of them? Where's Mighty at? You know what I mean? Where's, uh, where's Seven? You know? It's all those still alive back in those times. You know what I'm saying? Going through different timelines and whatnot. Probably not. You know, but you, I mean, look, we got someone else, so yeah. All right, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I say, it wasn't you just in the dungeon? I was. I was. I just got a phone call. Anyway, we back out here. I'm saying, back with the grind. I'm saying. And 91, 91, 86. All right. We have how many keys? Six left. And we'll just keep it going. What the? This is the end. Everyone okay? まだまだ学びたいね。さあ、一緒に踊ろう。任せてくれ。授業はこれで終わりだ。Keep your guard up. 
GG <laughs> no, no, man. Definitely a gamer You know when Aldo got the level 100 buff, is that me questioning whether or not we can use him to like clear dungeons? No way I'm running. No way, no um, German. Everyone okay? Obviously, to do as much damage as humanly possible, just pain, pain, pain. Pain Zetter, Felmina, or um Let's go! Uh you can also just have someone set pain like um Deidre, um, Surge, Tiffy here, right? Even though it's a magic attack, really? Like, if you just wanted a pain setter and didn't care if there was damage done to the enemy as you set pain, then yeah, you have a lot of options. Everyone okay? Two! We rock! We got this. I like how all those all of a sudden acting verse. Does he have a falcon badge? Brace I'll yourselves. I believe David said it took him about 22 or so, somewhere in the 20s, to go from 80 to 90 without the extra XP badge. I have to check. I wonder if it's mentioned in the wiki. It's probably not. We will see. One thing I need to do is actually go to the Battle Simulator, because I have so many of those tickets. I, I need to use them, <laughs> you know what I mean? What are they, do they even call them, or are they called pulses? I forget what they call them, but I have a lot of them, and they need to be used, so let's see. Um, not a key item. What would you call it? Maybe it is a key item. Let's see. I'm only going here to show you how much I got. Cause last I checked, I had a lot of them. Yeah, thirty. <laughs> You know what I mean? So. Let's go with. We'll go with something faster. Where's Philomena? Axe, water. We're at level 92. Hmm. Okay. Everyone okay? Yeah, I You know, one of the things I've been wanting to do is learn Japanese. But, um. I feel like that that'd be pretty challenging even for someone like me. I mean like what? <laughs> I probably have an easier time learning a, a language closely similar to English. And then once I've completely learned that language, learn say you know, basically just learn things that get me gradually closer and closer to say Japanese. 
Or learning one language first and then yeah, applying whatever I learned to learn said language and then applying it to learning Japanese. You know what I mean? And what I mean by that is like something that. Like the sounds. You know what I mean? Would, uh. Make sense. So I believe there's a difference in sounds. Where. I believe the English language has. Oh, man. I want to say has a little over a th man. I don't even know. Sounds. Let me see. Let me think. Give me. Give me a second. Here. Let me. Let me think about this real quick. Um, was it? There's 44. 40. Oh boy. I'm thinking 44, maybe 45. And it's mainly because I'm thinking about like, um, things like vowels, for example. Like there's four, five long vowels, five short ones, two ooh sounds. You know what I mean? And so I'm thinking about things like that. So I'm like, okay, cool. Well, if we take that into consideration, something that closely resembles that. You know what I mean? will be the next best language to learn so because if it's a jump from say like 44 to 400 you know just using 400 as the example by the way i'm not saying there's actually you know 400 different sounds inside of the japanese language but, but let's just say there were you know, that's a pretty big jump you know what i mean so what the it's all just something i'm thinking about you know what i mean because they kind of Give up. Really, like, they definitely Light do jump. Shine, no matter the darkness. So. Anyway, what level we at, by the way? Oh, what level we at out here? 93. Nice. Making some progress. I really, you know, one of the things I'm hoping they do is they just keep... This 10 times multiplier, because if you're releasing characters at the rate at which they're releasing them, to get them to like level 100 and like, you, you just keep it, you know, the 10x boost, you know what I mean? Because uh, if we go back to normal, what may take 22 runs is a 10 times multiplier. So it now took 22 runs, now going to take a little over 200. <laughs> I mean, so it's like, this is ridiculous. So, we'll come out with like, you know, XP 100 badges. You know what I mean? Boost H HP by 100%. You know? Because uh, it's pretty crazy. To think that one would have to do this without the boost. I you won't know? hold back. Or come up with ways that allow us to get far more of um, of the high class scrolls. But even then, you need over 2,000 of them. You know, so you're going to have to come up with a way to get a lot of them. Which, off the top of my head, I can only think of Kid and Colette. Because they have the ability to steal. And pretty much any fight you get into, you know, have them steal. So, there's probably some kind of infinite steel strategy out there. What the? Using kid. Give up. For your eternal vacation. There we go. But yeah, learning a different Time language. Um, I think one of the challenges would actually be like learning to write in the language. You know what I mean? Now, it'd be one thing to understand language, like when it's mentioned or when people speak it. Another whole, whole different beast from trying to write the damn thing, so. 
Anyway, keeping the grind going here. Keeping the grind going. All right. I won't hold back. We have to keep going. There we go. Yeah, I believe like for us native English speakers, I would think the easiest languages to learn would be things that are closely related to English. So, according to blog posts, things like Swedish, Spanish, Dutch, Portuguese are easier for us English speakers to learn. You know what I mean? Great job, everyone. So. Not entirely sure why that is, but if I had to guess, probably because uh, some of the words are closely related to English. Great job, everyone! And again, it goes back to the sounds. And so, for example, I think. Uh, what is it? Norwegian is winter, which is, of course, winter. You know what I mean? Summer is summer. So, closely, so closely related to English that it'd be pretty easy to, like, learn. So. Ninety-three. Other than that, I feel like I'm gonna have to go back and play. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and play uh, Octopath Traveler. Or I should say, completely beat Octopath Traveler 2 and then go backwards and finish up Octopath Traveler. You know what I mean? Because I don't know anything about Sirens, you know, or the story, like at all. I picked, uh, I forget her name. Um, when I started off the game, I'll have to go get the switch to find it, but it definitely wasn't Cyrus. Was, uh... No, well, Boro just hit level 90. Nice. We're at level 93. We'll probably hit 94. Leaving this one. Now mind you, I'm only filming this because I said I would. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I initially planned on filming this as in like one shot, have it be like one complete video. And that was the plan initially. Um, but considering all the distractions I had in the first video, um, and considering how long that was actually going to take, you know, from looking at the clock, it had been pretty ridiculous. Like, we're closing in at 30, let's see here, we're closing in at 34 minutes right now, and we're only at level 90, what, 3, 94? 94. Six levels left. So let us end this quickly. And that's because this dungeon isn't it's easy to run, don't get me wrong, like it's easy to clear. That's like that's not the problem. The problem is actually having to run through these different enemies, run to these different enemies and take them on. It'd be different if it was like a monster nest where you could just go to you know what I mean? Um in the later parts of the story. And then you can just stand there, and the monsters come to you. Or stand directly in front of the nest, where the monsters would appear. You know, and just take care of them there. Give up. There we go. And 
All right, so for the progress here, hold on a second. All right, so in this video, went from 90 to 94. Not bad. Okay, we also got our homeboy Oboro to level 90. All right, so there we have it. These videos are going to take who knows how long <laughs> just to get these characters to max level. It's ridiculous. All right, and um, let me see. Oh, okay, so I have enough to like fully max out his board. But as you can see, I clearly didn't. Yet, at least. Um, cause I don't know if these extra, like these, these here, you don't actually need. Right? Like they, in my opinion, they don't make that big of a difference. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. So, anyway. I'm going to get out of here. And, uh. Talk to you all later.